Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First of all, I just want to give all praises unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhar Gadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, bishops, truth, and sincerity all over the earth. The Shalom to you, for elect. And I uh, just want to touch on a few things real quick with this picture. Now, this picture right here is. Uh, a picture of this game called Fortnite, and it's this. This is the season. It's all about like aliens and all. We're all the case, baby. That's besides the point. But as you see in the picture, you got all the chaos and stuff that's going around in the picture. But the main picture is the main focus on this big so-called UFO beaming up this this uh. Jake woman. And as you've seen, you see in the picture, you got somebody getting beamed up on the left hand side, but if this this one right here is like the mothership. And then somebody's gonna get beamed up on the right one. On the right and the top is the mothership. And when you load into the game, there's this big huge one. This one that you see in the picture, this huge one, huge, that covers up pretty much the whole entire the whole entire map in the sky. And you can see it. And when I was looking at it earlier, and when you load up, when you see this, before you go into the game, it reminded me of the scriptures, man. Going into how um, when Yahusha comes back, he's going to obviously he's going to come back in chariots. He's going to come back with the chariots, so-called UFOs, and also that he's going to have the biggest one. And when you see this one in the end, in the end game, you can see how huge it is compared to the other ones. This one's huge. And then when you also think about it, you go back into um. That's just when he was describing, he said it looked like it was a mountain, but he can't, he couldn't see from where it came from or what, what, what mountain was missing. What, what was that? Because it wasn't a mountain. It was a chariot, man. When you go into the description, which I didn't pull the, pull that up, the scripture, up, but just referencing it. And that's how it's going to be, man. And even it just seeing like in game now, knowing the truth, you can see. And now you can see and go back and reference like in Ezekiel when he was describing what the uh, UFO looked like, so-called UFO, the chariots. He said it looked like a wheel inside of a wheel and it had a whole bunch of, um, how did this describe it, like light, uh, he said eyes. Because I understand that at that time, obviously they didn't have the words and stuff that we had. So they had to use what they knew back in their time to describe the things that they've seen. And that's why he said it looks like a whole bunch of eyes, which you can see, which I've heard two different things about uh, what the eyes can mean. It meant windows or it can mean lights. And I think I believe it's the lights because <clears throat> that's what I've been been taught. And that's what I think. Uh, but I heard windows like a long time ago, a very long time ago. But I believe it to be the lights, the eyes that he was talking about. And obviously there's not going to be eyes on the thing, but. The eyes is what as you see on the thing the lights that's around it and when ezekiel was describing it it said he looked like it was a wheel inside of a wheel and then he said he was describing how it moved what was inside the angels that was on the inside wherever they wanted it to go it would move up down left right with no problem without having to get a runway and do all these other things but this is a beautiful sight and you think to know that these people that make these things they know what's going on man they know what's gonna happen they know the truth because why out of every out of every person that could have been on the main screen getting getting beamed up to the main mothership, the biggest one, it was a Jake. It was a Jake. And as you see, when you just see these things, it's just beautiful. Even if you see it on a movie, TV shows, even video games, man, it just brings your mind back to the scriptures, man. It just brings your mind back to the scriptures. And that's what I see every time when I load this up to play it or when I get in the game. This is the first thing I think about. And it amazes me. I can't imagine because you understand when Yahweh comes back, every eye is going to see it. the chair is going to be covering the skies. And then his is going to be the biggest one. He's going to have the biggest one. And just even when I see the, the so-called UFO in the game, it just because it takes up the whole entire you just look up, you just see it. Not, and it just amazes me how big it is. And imagine, you know, Lord willing, my life in that time to see the return of the Lord. And the angels imagine how big and glorious his his charity is going to look man imagine seeing all the other ones all the other ones that he uh is going to come with him the armies of heaven you know 
Imagine what those gonna look like. They're all gonna look beautiful, but I just wanna place my eyes on how big one Yahweh Shah is gonna be on, man. It's gonna be a beautiful sight. And these games and these TV shows and all these other things throw in these things because they know what's happening. Like the whole thing right now is like alien invasion or whatever the case may be, but I'm not focused on that. I don't even play the game that much. It's just the concept behind it, which is the, the chariots, man. It's very beautiful. Because when you talk about the chariots, man, it's just the very, very, when you see chariot things and, and ads, TV shows, games, movies, whatever the case may be, when you just see it, it just, it just sharpens your faith a little bit, man. Because you mean like, man, <clears throat> you know, you see this, it just like gives you that, oh man, we're almost out of here. It gives you that, you know, kind of a little bit of a relief, man, that you don't have to, we don't have to wait much longer to get on up out of here for this place to go down and for us to go back home and for us to see these things. Because in the kingdom, we're going to have the chariots going to be our vehicles. There ain't going to be no cars, Lamborghinis going to a car shop, and putting $10,000 down and then paying the rest for 12 years. No, nah, no, nah, nah, man, they ain't doing none of that. And they're very, very beautiful. Even even when you see them in other places, man, it just it's very nice to see, man. And it's comforting to see that. And it just helps you kind of visualize. Obviously, we've never seen one in our lifetime, so it helps you kind of visualize. Like, man, this is this is what's gonna be happening. Oh, this is gonna be nice and that, that, that. Cause we really don't know what it looks like. We don't know what the color. We don't know how they how they gonna, you know, move. They might come in different shapes, sizes. Obviously, they're going to come in different sizes. Shapes, they might, different chairs might be to do certain things. This one might be to do that. Who knows, man, how they going to move? What does it look like on the inside? How to control? We don't know that stuff, man. So it's just being able to visualize a little bit to a certain extent. See some, to see some things, you know, come to life a little bit, I guess, how you want to put it. It's just very beautiful, man. So I just want to share that. But I'm going to get some scriptures, just a couple, and then uh, end it off. So, this is uh, Acts 1. Let's get straight to the point. Go to 11. Actually, no. Sorry, 9. It says, And when he had spoken these things, when they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight, which we know is a chariot. Uh, Psalms, what is that? Psalms 104. He make it the cloud as chariots. A cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which is the angels, which he also, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye up? Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? That same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. It's the same way you've seen him go up, but the same way you're going to see him return, man. He, be, he got taken up. Into a chariot, and the same way he's gonna come back with chariots, man. And this is the beautiful thing when you see this, because hey, man, because this is what's gonna be happening. We don't know the exact process on what it's gonna look like when people are getting beat up. We don't know if the light's gonna come down, shine over you, and then you're gonna just start going. We don't know how it's gonna be. We don't know. We haven't lived. We haven't. We're not. You know, we're coming into that time, but it hasn't happened yet, so we don't know. But it's just a very beautiful thing to seeing that, just like that one Nike commercial. People was getting beamed up. Uh, I think that was like a year ago when they made that commercial, or two years ago, and that that uh, commercial came out. And it's just very beautiful to see it, man. To see stuff like this with the chariots and people getting beamed up. The yeah, it's a game, ad, movie, whatever the case may be, it's just very beautiful to see because we all we know Esau knows where he where it comes from. He knows where the reference come from. And back in the day when we was kids, they used to show the reference of of UFO with beamed up cows and stuff. Aliens, green aliens, sitting beaming up cows for what, uh, whatever reason, you know. But we now we know the truth, which makes it beautiful. Now we understand what these vehicles are, or where they're getting these references from, and that's why having the shoots is very beautiful because you understand what they're, where Esau and other nations, where they get these references from. Just like when you see superheroes doing uh, invisibility and going through stuff and doing all stuff like that we watch these animes and all types of stuff that you see that's where they're getting it from they're getting it from the scriptures and i remember hearing a long time ago that uh in order for you be uh a hollywood actor or director you have to know parts of the scriptures man because that's where they get uh, that's where they get the references from man and that's why it's uh, i keep saying it's a beautiful thing to know the truth because when you're watching movies 
and you're watching TV shows or you're just watching something in general, or you see something or something, you come across something, you're, you always have your spiritual eyes open. So when you see these things, you all know immediately you can we can relate it right back to the scriptures all that's where they get it from or oh, that's what that's based off of right there you know and it's a very 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 beautiful thing to be in the truth man to understand it and have this knowledge man you got to thank y'all about shame yourself for that okay and then um let's get this And the Redeemer, Isaiah 59 and 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from Gershon in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee and my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, 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 saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. And the Redeemer shall come unto Zion, which who is the Redeemer? Yahweh Shah. He's going to come to Zion. He's not coming to get back the other nations, man. He's coming back to get the Israelites. Not coming back to get niggas. Not coming to be black people, Mexican people. I'm Hispanic. No, he's not coming back for that. He's coming back for the Israelites, man. The elect, more importantly. It's the only people that's going to make it out of here. You see? He's coming back for the elect. He's coming back for the Israelites, man. And those that turn from Gershon and Jacob, because this the whole movie is about Jacob, man. Most importantly, the, the Savior. And then after that, the Israelites, man. The rest of us, the elect. And then the Lord's people, the rest of us. Because the only people that's making out of here right now on this side, it's about the elect. Sealing the elect and getting the elect safe and sealed from a... Uh, sealed for uh, salvation and getting away from, from this destruction. All these other nations <laughs> in Esau... And the two thirds is not gonna make it, man. It's no hope for them. So what do you, what do you, what are you trying to have a, a conversation with the two thirds for? They're not gonna understand. Thor's not even dealing with them on this side. All right. So that's it. I just want to touch on that because it was just you know a little eye opening. <clears throat> oh wait, hold on. Slot here. He gets us one more script. I have one more script. So let's get this because Esau, you best believe E knows, man. Watch this, because if E knows this information right here, you know they're going to know everything else that comes from the scripture. Man, Esau knows that he has a short time. He knows who, who, what the Lord looked like, who he's coming back to get. They know these things, man. Uh, Psalms 83. I started one. Keep now thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still. O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the, the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And that the, main, and that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And it starts off with Edom. It starts off with E. They have consulted together. And they have one goal, and that's to cut us off from being a nation. And they know us, that we're the nation of Israel. They know everything that comes along with us. How powerful we was, how strong we was back in the day, about our heritage, about the chairs. They know these things, man. They know about them. That's what the Space Force is about. So when you see things in movies and games, best believe these people know, man. And that's the thing about the rest of the Jake. A lot of Jake will see the see things about UFOs and doing this, worry about green, big-headed thing driving it with big black eyes man and e the thing is he throws the truth right in front of your face man that's he's how he so does it and if he's lying about something he'll throw the little truth in there but you gotta have spiritual eyes to see and understand those things which everybody does not have so somebody might load up the game you might they might see just a, a ufo and a whole bunch of chaos going on but what do we see we see that's a chariot that's how potentially is going to look like when people are getting beamed up and saved from destruction we see that that's what the lord is coming back on we see different from what these other people see man all right so that's it i'll close out just want to touch on it give our praise and say yahweh bashem shai shalom